So I've made a few changes. There was no activity with the Walmart or the racetrack builds, so I've moved those into the watching category, and I've replaced them with Blink and Red E. Those two CPOs are actually doing something, so we'll get updates from those instead. Secondly, there was a little bit of cleanup of the data to make it easier to present. Uh, you'll see what that looks like in just a second. This week, 252 new stalls were installed throughout uh, the United States and Canada. Tesla was blank for some reason. I'm not sure why. I don't think it's because they didn't install any new stations. It's likely they just didn't get around to updating the database. Blink added 13. Red E added 8. And these are stations. Pilot Flying J added 1. I actually know of two additional ones, but they weren't in the database. Charge Point added 27. Uh, EV Connect added 9. Let's go ahead and get into the data. Let's see, the first one is, let's see, where is Blink? Here's Blink. Blink added 13. You can see they mostly do lower count stations. And one thing I've noticed about the Blink data, if you look at the open date, like there's one here of 2023 in October, but this ID field is sequential for when entries were added into the database. So it looks like what Blink is doing and I was contacted by someone who's kind of high up in the Blink uh, infrastructure on LinkedIn. And he said, you might want to take a look at Blink. And I did. And sure enough, they've been adding a lot of entries into the database. But it looks like what they're doing is they're going through and adding uh, stations that have been open for a while. Some of these, you know, like 8-1-2024, this was just open today or yesterday and 731. Some of these are new, but some of them are old. So it looks like they're doing some data dumping into the alternative fuels data center database. Regardless, we are getting a lot of new entries for Blink. Um, let's see if there's anything to call out here. Um, nothing really jumps to mind. Some of them are car dealerships and others are uh, common areas like uh, Dunkin Donuts. Okay, the next one is Red E, where, where is my red E? And I apologize for the confusion here. I'm going with a new format. This is a little bit easier to read, I feel. I had some feedback from a commenter saying that it was a little bit hard to read the other one, and this is easier, so I've switched to this method. Okay, so red E added, I think it's 13, and they're similarly adding entries into the database that, um, uh, look to have been previously installed. But there are some install dates here saying 731, which was two days ago. So I'm not sure if these are new stations, and I'd have to go through and audit PlugShare to see how long some of these stations have been opened. But these are new to the database, and they're up to 97 stations, which is uh, pretty significant for a company who had, I think, about 40 just a few days ago. Uh, so... Kudos to Ready. Next one is Pilot Flying J. The one that they opened is right here, Hope Hall, Alabama. And as I said, I know of two additional ones that just recently opened, but they're not in the database yet, so we should see it next week. EVGO is normally very good about adding the new entries. And they just recently opened like yesterday. Okay, the next one is ChargePoint. I think this is ChargePoint. Yeah, this is ChargePoint. And as is typical for ChargePoint, they added many. Uh, each one of their dispensers is considered a station unless it's these two. Uh, two. Um, then every two is uh, considered one station. And there is a way of consolidating that. I might look at the SQL in order to do so. I'm not sure. But let's just take a look here. Mostly uh, car dealerships, as is very typical. Nothing really to uh, call out. I'm looking for ChargePoint with several different... Uh, builds because companies like Mercedes-Benz and um, Love's Travel Shop Stop have all said that they're going to be using ChargePoint. So we should be able to see those in here. Also, the uh, Mercedes-Benz hyperchargers look to be using ChargePoint on the back end. There's this one Island Ford in Duncan, British Columbia that has got six stalls. Um, three... ChargePoint Express Pluses. But otherwise, usual suspects. 
Next one is EV Connect. They did nine additional stations. It looks like all at um, car dealerships, assuming that this one and this one are car dealerships. That seems to be their bread and butter. And if you look, mostly at GM branded car dealerships. Okay, a couple of honorable mentions that I want to call out. Revel was recently in the news this past week for uh, signing a lease for a new large station in downtown Los Angeles, and they did show up in the database as well. These are the two stations that uh, Revel or Revel has. So they're large stations, basically designed for rideshare, and um, both in New York City, one in Brooklyn and one in Manhattan. Um, and assumedly we're going to be getting one in Los Angeles as well and then additional build outs from there. The second one is Gravity, also in New York City, showed up in the database. 24 stalls and uh, opened up in March of this year. So two new CPOs that are both kind of catering towards rideshare and very large stations in metropolitan areas just recently showed up. That's the report for this week. Thank you very much for watching.